with the pal, I have no idea. Let's try this game. To my mother, brothers and sisters, with whom I survived the monster in my father. Wow. By Vender Cabarero. Okay. After the darkness of Elden Ring, I wanted something a bit uh, lighter. I guess it will not be. Okay, so something definitely personal. Hello, Jays. Jays. Oh jeez. Okay. Can I have a bit of a... Uh... Frogs. Cool. Scribble font. Scribble. Is it a... a what is it? No Scribble Note? Remember that game? Scribble Note? Anybody played Scribble Note years ago on Nintendo DS? That was cool. So let me give a shout out to... My dear Jay's playing Balatro Wukong uh, um, Slayer Spire recently. It looks like he's pretty much addicted to it. I think we lost Jay's. We lost Jay's to the to the addiction of more cards, cards, cards. And I think soon Jay's will be a uh, caught in a casino in uh, whatever in Darwin. <laughs> so, so I have no idea. And we also had the visit of my dear Denden. Check out Denden, probably addicted to... Yeah, look at him. Probably addicted to uh, Delta Force. Delta Force? I think it was like a hoax, something. It, but they changed the name. They, they, they just shortened the name. So do I play with my... Yeah, I think I can play like that. So... A bit of bossa nova on guitar. We are obviously... That's awesome. I don't know if the game is good, but... Okay, I want to see if it goes. And let's see. Change? One, two, three. Oh. Nope, no change. He's gonna stay like that for a, as a loop. It's pretty cool. I like the music. No addiction here, never. Sounds like one. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what an addicted would say, right? An addict. Okay, so favelas kind of thing. Can I walk on this? Looks like I can walk on this. Oh, this game reminds me a lot of the game we discussed about... What is it, two days ago? And who, who found it? Like, someone found the name of the game. You remember that game where you just keep climbing up? Someone said that recently. This reminds me a lot. I, I should, should I play with the controller, actually? Yeah. I got used to controller so much with my finger that... Oh, okay. Going up. There you go, Tom. Going up. It feels very similar. Maybe going up was actually inspired by this game. Okay, it's still okay for an old game. It looks alright. An old and indie game. What is this game all about? Uh, it's an old game that I bought a long time ago. And uh, we are, this is not a game we're playing today, but we're doing, uh, you know, my trial every day. Every day. As, mu as, mu as much as I can every day, possibly every day. I try a game for like half an hour, up to two hours in my backlog. And Stone helps me with an algorithm to pick a game in my backlog. Okay, I need to change controller, obviously. Um, and he said, uh, this is the next game you have to try. So we are trying Papo and Yo. It's called Papo and Yo. I probably don't have the right uh, pronunciation. Let's see if I can catch the girl. No, I can't catch the girl. Laurent Garnier has a new show on FIP. Ooh. Laurent Garnier. What a man. 
I haven't played any game in days. I'm addicted to climbing mountains. That's very good. That's very good. We went to the beach on uh, Saturday and in the rainforest yesterday. So I totally feel you. Cutscene music stopped. Yeah, that's true. That's sad. That's because there's, there's a, a music cue here, I guess. Okay, that's very cute. It's very cute. Is it similar in content to Limbo? Although the, the gameplay feels different, but is it similar? Limbo was a, a lot about that. Though Limbo was more about death and how to deal with it. Here it's... Uh, we don't know yet. It looks fine for an old game. It looks fine. Uh, I don't know where to go. Let's just walk on the roofs. Oye, Kiko. Oye, Kiko. Please use its correct name. The Baker Stonch BS algorithm team. Yeah, the BS part is the most important one, I reckon, Stonch. I climb Mount Column, which has a cool view of the beach. Ooh, I'll check it out on Google Map. Then, then. It's a silk. Limbo was more about the developer being an ass to his players. Wow. You can definitely feel how Stonch enjoyed Limbo. It was okay. I mean, the game was like two hours and it was totally fine. And for me, it was more of a prototype in order to make uh, Inside, which was a great game. I'm a hint box. And I'm here to help. There are also tutorial boxes that will teach you important things to succeed. Remember, look for a hint or tutorial box if you ever find yourself stuck. That was very cute. That was very cute. To put the tutorial inside the box and you turn it around. That's He didn't have to do that and it's very cute. So here, obviously, we are missing. Uh, oh, never mind the obviously. Yeah, there's a bit of an eco feel, if you remember eco from Japanese developers. I feel like it feels like then has taken over a week of streaming. Oh, did he? But even though he hasn't played for a few days, he's still addicted to Delta Force. Yeah, I think he is. I think he is. I think he's addicted. Which is fine, right? Being addicted to a medium like video game can be not can be not unhealthy. Does that make sense? Of course it can be unhealthy also. Let's kick the ball. Yee Oh. This game is not from Brazil. I'm sorry. Though, I guess that's why the guy did a video game instead of uh, going uh, sports or anything. Okay. I mean, right now there's not much, but I know it's just introduction. Seems pretty linear. Go to glowing part, interact with glowing part, continue. I imagine thinking it might come later. Hopefully. I heard it, it's a very short game, like two to three hours, and it's more about his uh, personal story with his uh, abusive father, so. Hopefully, you're right, Tom. It's better than other things you could be addicted to. That's very true. But let's be honest any addiction usually is a bit unhealthy. Right? You know, if, uh, if, you got, if you've got a guy coming up to you and sing and sing, a, I'm addicted to you, and you're like, all right, I'm out. Is it the right way? I feel like I'm doing nonsense. I went here, no? Okay. 
I mean, admittedly, there was a monster at the beginning, right? So the game could be a bit creepy. Do I go there to check on the girl, or do I go there in the hall? Can I die in this game? Let's try. I can die. But it's very permissive. Okay, cool. The sad decision on level design, putting a ball on the ground like that and not giving the player the ability to shoot it. It was weird, right? Especially from a game from Brazil. You're like, why? Maybe it was a bit hard for him to, an to you know, to animate or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if it's his first game, but... Music is cool. I don't know if he, he is the... Yes, I did. Guess I did. I guess I did. Music is really cool. Catch the frogs! Huh? <laughs> Oui. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. What do I do with it? Oops, sorry, buddy. Ah, get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, music is really cool. I've yet to be satisfied in terms of gameplay, but... Just remove the ball then. I love the art of the UI and the music. Yeah, the music is awesome. That's adorable. Whoa. It lagged a bit, sorry about that. What the heck is going on here? Not much, I mean... I'm this poor little guy who's been abused by his father in a Brazilian favelas. Uh, I'm just following that little girl. We have no idea what's going on. There's a bit of an eco feel to it, if you remember eco. Except without all the great design, right? It's, uh, the guy was by himself. He did that like, what is it, 10 years ago, this game? We have yet to understand what he's trying to tell us. Saving checkpoint. I just went ahead because there might be some secrets with the frogs and all, but I just... I'm, I don't have time for this. Oh ho! So that is really cool. For anybody who played the recent uh, Superliminal, I reckon there's a bit of inspiration in Superliminal from that game. I think, even if it's not completely the same, it definitely has some influence. If I drop it, yeah, nice, that's really cool. That's, And you know what, it reminds me also of what hip-hop and uh, people doing rap in, in ghettos is all about. You know, when you feel stuck in a, in a city and you feel stuck in your social class and you want to, uh, you want to be able to move the walls of your city and to move your life, that's what it's about also, so I guess there's, there's that, if, you had, if we had to interpret it. So basically I'm going to do a, a wall, a bridge, I mean. Right? I need like uh, two or three houses. The really, really cool thing would be if I was a dev, which I'm not, so I, sh I should just shut up, that one of the houses has a door that you could access, you know, with a secret in it. Oops. Can I put the house on the... No, I can't put the house. Yeah, I can, you see? So if there was a door and I could get into and get a, a, a secret to get an achievement, I would make that, for instance. That would be cool. Did you just open the door to the Moria? What is the story behind all the strange level manipulation? That's what I think. There's no, I don't know if there's a story, and I don't know if I'm allowed to interpret it that early in the game, but I think it's about 
what you you have also in in hip hop and rap and all these musics from, from the from the ghettos and from the you know people stuck in their social class and all who feel oppressed by society and that they feel that they can't get out of there it's that little boy feels like he can move the city you know he became he becomes a bit the king of his uh, of his world a world where he's actually very powerless i think it should be the idea here maybe not maybe it was like uh, no i just wanted to move houses you know i don't know uh yeah not a good placement not a good placement basically i should not even look at the houses i should just look at this right like i, I can literally look at this there's even some signs on the ground to say hey you have to put the the houses on the squares you idiot oh there, i didn't see the the helping box do we need the helping box i guess just for the drawings the drawings were cute show us fair enough a box is a house yeah fair enough it was pretty straightforward anyway and all all it's just another house and the bridge haha <laughs> right so this is a kid's imagination i guess it is a kid's fantasm you know stuck in the favelas of brazil you feel so stuck and powerless and you know hopeless so i guess this is a bit it wow sorry i don't know if it's my pc or if it's the coding of the game can i actually ah there you go a tada oops I guess I missed the path from the right. Yeah, the, the helping box was really smart, you know, putting the box on your head. It's adorable. He didn't have to do that. The fact that he did that was very cool because that's what kids do. Could they be secret? No. That... That reminds me of Shenmue here, that kind of, uh, that kind of environment. Really reminds me of Shenmue. Okay, so we have keys. What does the key do? Okay. Cute. I mean, it's adorable. Aha! Let's put my our head in a box. Okay, oh, so it's more than help. It's literally giving you the solution. You've got to put the three things, but then how do you do for the last last one? Could working houses help you reach difficult spots? Where are those gears? Yeah, so it's really helping you. Maybe it's also for kids. Maybe the guy did that because he knows it's a... It's a very prominent problem in, in some places and he wanted to help the kids and all I don't know okay so obviously I did a mistake I had to put that back so I can walk to the gears I can see another secret over there I don't know if it's a secret I don't know if the game is full of secret or not can I activate this one oh and then you've got a timer Zelda style okay fair enough so let's try to see if this one goes over there yes it does it's cute let's do the gears you should probably have your twitch category on this game until you actually start sea of stars oh I didn't I put sea of stars did I that's true. That is very true. Papuano. Boom. Hopefully it changes. 
let me know because I've realized when I change it, people say it didn't change, it's still the same. So I'm like, focus tunch, yeah, focus tunch, get out of here, go back to ah. I'll call you if I get a, a great sword, Stunch. <laughs> we. Yeah, the puzzle is very basic, straightforward, that, but which is fine. We're still early on in the game, and I don't think the game is about making a very complex, you know, Talos principle kind of puzzle game. But the music is awesome, by the way. Music in a... In a game which sounds like that, that is pretty cool. Uh, nope. I don't know if he did that by himself or if he, uh, if he got a composer, but it sounds really neat. Brazil has some insanely good music. How, how much did I have? Okay, that was pretty permissive. Look at that. Yeah. At least five seconds. Okay. Let's pull that just to see what it does. Okay. Does it change maybe the, the wires? Hmm, not sure about that. Oh, huh, okay. It was just a secret. Okay. And then I put it back. Okay. Oh, let's see that again. Have you seen a switch like this? Da -da 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 -da. Climb up there. I'm not gonna bother too much reading the, the, the hints because I feel like the hints tell you about the solution. gonna put my head in a card box it looks so awesome you should you should totally put your head in a card box uh, I guess here uh, maybe like that And then I move the the house again. Oh, actually, that might have been too far. Oh, it's fine, isn't it? This is fine. This is fine. I have a feeling the game is going to turn a bit darker be by soon because has she been taken away? Is it? Is that him? I can't see. 